Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today we're gonna we're gonna talk about what exactly I'm gonna be playing on the Ascendancy release date, which will be my Ice Trapper, and I'm gonna give you guys kind of like the the rundown finalized guide of what I have created in Alpha. Now, one thing to note is I definitely will be changing this this build up depending on what gear I find. If I go for you know multi cursing or a more evasion route or a more deeps route or two handed staff, but this is the outline of what we've come up with so far. So towards the end of the video, I'll probably, I may or may not, uh, create a guide and actually go through and level and show you guys how I would introduce everything. Um, but the main thing to know so you don't fuck anything up is we're playing the Saboteur subspec uh, with Chain Reaction and Explosive Expert. Um, the only thing I changed from my old YouTube video is I think I went through here like this to grab Celestial Judgment. <coughs> In this one, I changed it up so it's actually... Um, the whole entire build runs on mana regen. You don't need a mana pot anymore. This is this was done for you guys. Um, I personally will run a mana pot later on, but I'd, I'd swap this around to get like amplify for more clear speed. Um, and then I moved into over here to grab some more evasion and life, and to get my character to about 6.5k with proper gear at about 95, because that that works for me. You know that to me that's that's a solid character. So um, for the sake of the video, we're gonna use a four link because we're not gonna have a six link at the start. So we're gonna remove control destruction. Actually, JK, I'm keeping it in. We're going to remove Hypothermia, and we're going to remove Trap and Mind Damage. So, we're going to be running a level... Where is it? A level... A Tier 9 map, which is not too high, but it does have Elemental Equilibrium. For people who don't know what Elemental Equilibrium is, it means I'm pretty much going to be doing... Or fighting against monsters with 25% Cold Resist. So, it does hurt me a little bit. Um, and the links that we're using are the following. We've got Herald of Ice, Clarity, uh, which is going to go on mana, alongside with... Enfeeble on Blasphemy. For actual skills, we have Cluster Trap, Control Destruction, Ice Trap, Cold Pen. I think this is your ideal four-link setup. You're not dealing with any double dipping, so I don't think Trap and Mind Damage would be superior to Control Destruction. I've got Cluster Trap, Lesturation, Trap with Frost Bomb. A uh, Frost Bomb is more of a utility skill, but still deals pretty good damage. Uh, just Vol Lightning Trap on a separate link. I was thinking of doing something like... I don't know, I was playing around with some Vol skills, I haven't really decided what I want to use yet. You could do like Vol Clarity or something with increased duration and have like 100% uptime. There's a lot of crafty things you're able to do really, but I haven't honestly went through to test all that because it's an alpha and you don't want to burn yourself out. Um, the biggest thing though as well is Aura Storms with increased critical strike chance to keep up um, to keep up Elemental Overload when you want it to be active. Now I don't have much evasion in this character, it's only 4k evasion. Um, that solely like pretty much relies on my shield and my chest piece. My chess piece is really solid. It's actually a self-found crafted six link from white. Don't ask how the fuck that happened. I already know that RNG is not going to give me shit on release, but that's life, right? Um, so this this doesn't really have any evasion. There's no evasion on my boots. My my gloves don't even give evasion, and my helmet has no evasion. So we can hit about 10k armor or 10k evasion, nine to eleven thousand there, which is pretty good. Um, utilizing proper gear. So without further ado, let's go run the map, shall we? Oops. Just need a map. Oh yes, and my, my weapon is the last one we're going to talk about. Uh, ideally, I might even use a Divnaris. The purpose of a Divnaris is it would give me 10% increased AoE, decent spell damage. The crit is okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it would give me the ability to use Whirling Blades. I don't really use a mobility skill at the moment. It's alpha, I don't really care enough. Um, or if you're not going for that, look for a high spell damage, flat, you know, cold to spells with cold damage is what you'd like. We're also running on 110 mana regen per second, and our bandits are Oak, Kill, Creighton. And I guess the one other thing I modified is I picked up Frenzy Charges in this build layout. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Also, my flasks, don't ask. You run whatever flask you want. These are like, I don't know, I was doing that Ziri, I think, or something. I was doing something else and testing out flasks. I don't think, did I ever put Fire Nova Mine back in? I didn't. What is over here? Minefield Remote Mine. Where's Fire Nova Mine? Oh, rip, no Fire Nova Mine. Fire Nova Mine is basically, or any mine in general, you can drop just to get the increased AoE. That does not seem to be happening right now, that's fine.
I know this is a very awkward clear. I'm not a big fan of the Underground River, to be completely honest. Now, there is another variant I was thinking of doing. It's a more expensive option, and it, it requires me to use, like, multi-curse from the tree and uh, dodres, and that allows me to run frostbite. It allows me to run pretty much strikers, frostbite, enfeeble, and temp chains for like maximum freeze potential. And I don't know exactly if I would run that or not, but it, it's another thought to do. The thing is though, is that since like if you plan on partying, you usually have a dedicated cursor, so it really doesn't matter most of the time. I just want to get to the boss, you know, so that's the only thing we care about, right? Where is boss at? Increase quantity! Let's do it. Just need a moment to Here's gonna be an example of my, my bubble orb. That's Mr. Bubble. Mr. Bubble's pretty strong, man. I like Mr. Bubble. I mean, I don't even need this. It's alpha. Alright, let's... Where is Mr. Boss at? Hmm... Can I go this way? No. Rip. Alright, let's hope the boss is this way then. And before hashtag, why don't you edit your videos and just get to the boss capo? Alright, here's the boss. Alright. Let's, let's see how fast we can burn Mr. Boss. Once he comes over here. I mean, this was without Vol Lightning Trap, but it was still pretty good. It wasn't too bad. I did, I did fuck that up. I don't know why I didn't use Vol Lightning Trap. But you know, nonetheless, it still it still works. You know, on a four link, it works just fine. You know, you you have the sustain. You don't have to worry about mana. Your life regen sucks ass, but that's what flasks are for. You've got the ability to give yourself a steroid with orb of storms along with vol lightning trap. This combination literally almost doubles your damage. Um, and then a frost bomb as well to kite back and reduce the resistances. Uh, you do have room to play with a lot more links, to be honest. Like, um, I don't use like anything in my gloves really. So I could, like, like, I have Orb of Storms here, but I could swap this around to get an extra crit, like, an extra 4-link. My shield has almost nothing in it, so I can put this where this is to get a 4-link here. And I can swap what's in my helmet to my weapon and get another 4-link here. So you have, you can still run a Castle Damage Taken and a Vol Gem if you really wanted to. Alright, as for gear priority, of course, Coil is going to be pretty much best in slot for this build. Uh, but let me go ahead and bring up a tree and see if I can build you guys a quick tree. This was the uh, the difference comparing my other two builds as well. It's very minor. I, essentially, I swapped out this part for this part and then worked my way down here. All right, but anyway, let's reset and let's make a completely new character for you guys. So we're going to start off Shadow. And again, the purpose for starting off Shadow is because we really, really, really want to get into Chain Reaction and Explosive Expert. So start off Shadow, grab your Ellie. Now, they changed trickery, so it actually gives dex and intel. I think it was just 20 int before, which is pretty cool, so you don't have to grab coordination right off the bat. Grab your Ellie. I'm going to come up and grab Saboteur first. All right. Now, from here, it's totally up to you. This is literally up to the player. You can choose to go for high explosives now, or you can choose to get it after. My personal opinion is, like, is get hasty reconstruction first. So, I'm going to come around this way. Grab Hasty Reconstruction. Um, you might even want to go around this way. Like this. And you can get this life literally whenever you want. You don't have to get it now. Um, and then come down through here. Like this. Grab High Explosives and Clever Construction. Um, now from here, you've got the choice on whenever you choose to play defensively. Some people go defensive you know, earlier than others. You come down, you get Acrobatics, and you grab Herbalism, and you grab Master Sapper. These all go together. 
You pretty much don't come down here until you want to grab acrobatics. Personally, I don't really care about acrobatics at the beginning of the game, so I'm going to go for what's more important and grab my area of effect. So I'm going to grab my increased AoE. And I'm going to grab right through here, get the life, come across and grab elemental overload. Um, I don't really care much about mana regen at the start. I'm just going to pick right into here. And I'm done with this side. So after touching this, you can choose to fill in life. I personally don't really care. Uh, so I'm going to come down and grab acrobatics. Fervor. Or, well, you don't touch these till you have frenzy charge generation properly. So I'll leave those up to you as well. And now you have master sapper. Everything else here is pretty much filling in life. So let's fill in the life right here with the written in blood. Or move here. Pick up your jewel. That's 7% life. Pick up your frenzy charge. That's more damage. Uh, this Frenzy Charge is Evasion. This will give you more life. Let's keep looking around, see if we missed anything. Mm -hmm. That Jewel is Additional Life. That is a Life Node right there. This Jewel is 7% Life. This Jewel would be 7% Life. You could even grab Sanctity for like armor if you ch plan on running a Granite Flask, but mainly because it gives Strength, Intel, and 1% Life Regen per second. It's really not bad. Um, if you want additional damage, you can come through like Elementalist and pick up Light of Divinity. Um, let me let me see if I'm missing something. Let me compare this to like this guy. Yeah. So the only the only difference is with this variance. Um, this is what I decided to do. I decided that in the end, I wanted to come like this one two, come the Dex route and grab like Heart of the Oak into Evasion and Life. This puts me at 184 percent maximum life. Um, this puts me at 184% maximum life, but the more important thing about it is that it gives me, um, more life regeneration, since Heart of the Oak gives me 1% life regeneration per second. So that's pretty much going to be the build. I just realized I didn't have my, my annoying-ass captured layered windows on, so you guys couldn't see every single node. I do apologize about that. Um, oh yeah, and you should pick up Phase Acro. There's, there's that to finish it off. That's the full build. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the defensive tab so you guys can see, you know, what it has to offer. Um, let me just pick up Saboteur because that's, that's just going to put it to whatever it would normally be at. There you go. Alright, so let's go ahead and scroll down. You can see your strength. You're going to need to find strength through gear requirements for things like lesser duration or reduced duration. Your deck should be fine. Your int is fine. Um... It gets 184% max life, that's really good. 60% mana regen, 79% increased evasion, that's really not much evasion. 55% uh, ES doesn't matter. 20 all res is pretty good uh, for the start of the league. 2.8% life regeneration per second. Where does the extra 0.8 come from? If you remove Heart of the Oak... Oh, quick recovery, that's right, that's right. Forgot about that. Uh, let's move down some more. We get three Frenzy Charges plus three, four, five. Well, not four, five, four, plus five. So that's five Frenzy Charges. Creighton would be six. Uh, let's see, scrolling down. Did I grab Elemental? Okay, I did good. We get, in terms of damage, 138% increased Elemental, 30% Radius, 50% increased Area Damage, 40% more Elemental Damage if you crit in the past eight seconds, 10% Physical, that doesn't matter, 8% Penetration, Uh, this 10% increased duration of elemental status ailments actually will work for your, your freeze threshold, make it easier to freeze. 70% cooldown reduction or cooldown speed for throwing traps, which is awesome. 5 jewels, which is effectively 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. That's 35% life. Uh, let's see. 8% increased damage for each trap is really nice. The increased AoE, this is coming from the Saboteur. Um, you don't really need it. It's basically you, you place down mines and you grab increased AoE. It's good for like cheesing bosses and trying to play like really defensive. 10% reduced damage taken from traps and mines. I don't think that really matters at all. Uh, when your traps trigger, you also trigger. This is required for being a live streamer on Twitch chat. Uh, get 26% spell damage, a big meaty 262% increased trap damage, 40% uh, trap trigger radius. Which isn't bad, it's when you throw your cluster traps, it gives a chance that one goes off, which starts the chain reaction. An additional 10% penetration. And that's pretty much the character. Um, yeah. Now, other, 
Additionally, you could do a different route and get like Hexmaster. Um, that's totally up to you, but this is going to be what I'm playing. In terms of leveling, because a lot of people keep asking, because your build's not going to be very good until you get Chain Reaction, I would recommend something like Firestorm Trap, but really, you know, you guys can be creative. This is a generic elemental character. I don't even get cold damage in the tree. Pick a skill that you like and level with it. If you're do if it's hard, you're doing it wrong. Like, it's not just as long as you pull out, but it's not, it's not difficult. You know, it's just all elemental damage. Use your imagination. You know, I don't want to hold your guys 100% through the game. I want you guys to be creative and, and really play what you want to play. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. If you guys would like the build link, this full-on build link will be in the description down below. Uh, just give me like five minutes after it uploads to actually put it in. That elephant trunk is the, is the noise of me copying it. So anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. If you guys saw I missed anything really obvious, really basic, just, just add it into the tree. You know, it's not too difficult. So without further ado, hope you guys have had a wonderful time. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. And I will see you guys all on Ascension Release. Take care, everybody.